Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. What I'd like to do is uh, show you how to solve this absolute value inequality. When solving absolute value uh, inequalities, equations. When solving absolute value equations, what we're simply doing is we're, we need to set up two, so two cases, right? The case where um, the value inside my absolute value is positive, as well as where the value is negative. So to do that, we need to kind of lose the absolute value. So we lose it when we create our two cases, which is 3x is equal to positive 18 and 3x is equal to negative 18. Because remember, when taking the absolute value you know, of any number, absolute value of um, x is just equal to x, and absolute value of negative of x is still also equal to x. So therefore, we can create, we want to be able to determine what would be the value that I make it positive as well as make it negative. So I create my two cases, get rid of the absolute value, and then solve my one-step equations. So therefore, x equals 6 and x equals negative 6. And I go ahead and plug x back in for x and determine, does that still going to work? When I plug 6, that 3 times 6 is positive 18. Absolute value of positive 18 is obviously 18. When I do negative 6, that's 3 times negative 6 is negative 18. Is absolute value of negative 16 or 18 18? Yes, it is.